Hi everyone, and welcome back to Oklahoma's favorite academic game show, I Want Answers. I'm your host, Jeff Gaffin. We are here again to see 16 teams from across green country compete against each other for the chance to win scholarships and the I Want Answers Championship. Today's competitors are the Commerce Tigers and the Riverfield Ravens. Let's meet the players for the Commerce Tigers. Hi, I'm Iris Perry, and I'm a junior at Commerce High School. Hi, I'm Shri Desroth, and I am a junior at Commerce High School. Hi, I am James Desroth, and I'm a sophomore at Commerce High School. Hi, I'm Antonio Ontiveros, and I'm a sophomore at Commerce High School. Thanks for being here. And now their competitors, the Riverfield Ravens. Hi, my name is Chandler Bear, and I'm a senior this year at Riverfield Country Day School. Hi, I'm Sam Brander, and I'm a junior at Riverfield Country Day School this year. Why, hello. I am Nate Newman at Riverfield Country Day School. I'm a senior. Hello, I'm Nicholas Hartman, and I'm a junior at Riverfield Country Day School this year. Appreciate y'all being here. Thanks so much, Ravens and Tigers. To begin with, we start with the speed round. Remember, teams, these are individual answer questions worth 10 points each. No conferring. Ready? Here's the first of your speed questions. The FBI arrested a man from Mississippi for allegedly sending letters containing what deadly poison to three officials, including the president? Yes, Riverfield. Anthrax. Incorrect. Commerce, you get a chance. Cyanide. Incorrect. It is ricin. Next question. The Persians, the Turks, and the Kurds are, respectively, the second, third, and fourth largest ethnic groups living in the Middle East. Name the largest. Uh, yes, Riverfield. Arabs. Correct. Mrs. Newsom sends four emissaries to find her prodigal son, Chad, in Paris and persuade him to come home to America. When they locate him, however, it is evident that Europe has improved him and that he won't be returning with them. Who are these Henry James title characters who come back to America after their diplomatic mission didn't succeed? Okay, that is the ambassadors. Next question. This man purported to be the descendant of King Solomon. He gave Ethiopia a constitution in 1955 and ruled as the emperor of this country for two decades until his death in 1975. Can you name him? Okay, it is Haile Selassie. In a hierarchy, every employee tends to rise to his level of incompetence. What law of business and industry is expressed? Yes, uh, Riverfield. The Peter Principle. That is correct. What do we call a wheel turned by the force of a moving fluid such as water, steam, or gas? Yes, Riverfield. A turbine. Correct. After the Boston Marathon bombing, NBC reported that many runners, having just finished the 26.2 mile race, ran an additional two miles to get where? Uh, time, time hit, it would be the nearest hospital to give blood. Next B question. The Big Island of Hawaii is well named. At 4,021 square miles, it's the largest in the United States. The next 12 largest islands in the U.S. are found in two other states. Name either one of them. Yes, Commerce. Florida. Incorrect. Riverfield. Okay, you don't have to buzz in, but yes. California. Incorrect. Either Alaska or New York. Moving on. Since its inception in 1950, an international scholarship program sponsored by the United States has enabled thousands of Americans to study abroad and brought over numerous foreign citizens to the states. Identify this program named after an American senator. Hmm. Buzzer hit, Fulbright program. Enzymes expedi expedite reactions by decreasing which threshold the energy needed to start a chemical reaction. Yes, Riverfield. Uh, the activation energy? Correct. Charles Nordiff and James Norman Hall wrote Mutiny on the Bounty. Who wrote the Kane Mutiny?
That'd be Herman Wolk. Tools and molds used by Phidias have been discovered at Olympia. They were used to sculpt which one of the seven wonders of the ancient world? Yes, Riverfield. The Colossus of Rhodes. Incorrect. Commerce, you get a chance. That would be the Statue of Zeus. Cookie Monster ate a total of 100 cookies over the course of five days. Each day he ate three more cookies than the day before. How many did he eat on day one? Yes, Riverfield. 18. Incorrect. Commerce. Answer is 14. Please don't forget, teams, if it's a math type question, you're welcome to use your pen and paper. Next B question. Geographical regions may be divided into election districts. What is the practice called of giving one political party an electoral majority in a large number of districts? Yes, Riverfield. Gerrymandering. That is correct. I will list four numbers in the Dewey Decimal System. Which of them applies to the category of fine arts? The numbers are 300, 500, 600, or 700. Yes, Riverfield. 300. Incorrect. Commerce? 500. Incorrect. It is 700. The scientific definition might read, the chemical process of treating rubber with sulfur and subjecting it to heat in order to make it non-plastic and to increase it... Yes, Riverfield. Vulcanization. That is correct. Rip Collins, Ducky Medwick, Frankie Frisch, Pepper Martin, Leo DeRocher, and Dizzy Dean were all members of the famed St. Louis Cardinals of the 1930s. This ball club was popularly known as by what nickname? That would be the Gas House Gang. Four states border Indiana. Kentucky is one. Name the other three. Yes, Riverfield. Ohio, Michigan, and Illinois. That is correct. Lee Iacocca was dismissed from his top position at the Ford Motor Company in 1978 and then rose to fame leading which company back from the brink of bankruptcy? Yes, Riverfield. Chrysler. That is correct. The founder of the Flemish School of Painting, he is credited with the invention of the modern method of oil painting. His masterpiece is the famed Wedding Portrait of Giovanni Arnolfini and Jean Surami, who is the artist. Yes, Riverfield. Van Eyck. That is correct. The English language is expressed in the Roman alphabet. In what alphabet is the Russian language expressed? Yes, Riverfield. Cyrillic. That is correct. Decomposed biological waste pr produces a gas which is a functional energy source. Chemists know it as CH4. What is it? Yes, Riverfield. Methane. That is correct. Which American playwright modeled a large portion of his work on Greek tragedy? Yes, Riverfield. Tennessee Williams. Incorrect. Commerce. Eugene O'Neill. Last year, what country issued a 33-year jail sentence to the doctor who had helped the U.S. find Osama bin Laden? Yes, Riverfield. Pakistan. That is correct. Give me the word defined as the study of family descent or pedigree. Uh, yes, Murfield. Uh, genealogy? Genealogy is correct. In ancient mythology, he was the god of music, arts, medicine, and poetry. Yes, Murfield. Apollo. That is correct. The tallest monumental column in the world is located near Houston, Texas. What military conflict does the 570-foot column commemorate? Riverfield just got in. The 
battle at the Alamo? That is incorrect. One chance commerce. The Battle of San Jacinto. Okay, well that's the end of the first round. The score stands at this moment with Commerce with no points at the moment. Riverfield with 140 points. And now we enter the second round, the advantage round. And to gain the advantage teams, you must be the first to correctly answer a speed question. Any team member may answer. Once a team correctly answers a speed question, they are given three advantage questions, each worth five points. While you are allowed to confer teams, answers for the advantage questions must come from the team captain. Once an advantage category is complete, you'll be back to speed questions to gain a new advantage. Are you ready to play? Are you ready? Let's go to sp speed. Wing Biddlebaum is an unfortunate ex-school teacher. Dr. Parsival is a mystic. George Willard is a young reporter. Alice Hindman is a clerk in a dry goods store who ran naked in the rain. We find these residents of a fictional small town in what 1919 collection of stories? Hmm, Winesburg, Ohio, by Sherwood Anderson. Still looking for an advantage? Back to more speed. In wi it was bound for the Flemish coast, defeated near the French port of Gravelines, and dispersed by storms in the North Sea. It was commanded by the Duke of Medina Sidonia. What was it? Hmm, the Spanish Armada. Still looking for an advantage. Explain the basic difference between the biological terms genotype and phenotype. Yes, Riverfield. Which genes are expressed? Mm. Which are present? It's a little more information. Genotype is which genes are present. Phenotype is which are expressed in the individual. Judges? Say yes. Okay, then we have the advantage. Okay, Riverfield, your advantage category this time is music. I'll name a virtuoso soloist, and you name the musical instruments. Number one, Arthur Rubinstein. Piano. Correct. Pablo Casals. Saxophone. Incorrect. That'd be cello. James Galway. Violin. Nope, that'd be flute. That's okay. Back to speed question for a new advantage. Derma means skin or covering. Give me the appropriate derm term for the outer layer of an animal's skin, the part that gets rubbed when you... Yes, Riverfield. Epidermis. That is correct. You have the advantage. Your category is geometry. Number one, what do you call a line segment connecting the center of a circle with any point on the circle? Radius. That is correct. The sphere, the sphere has only one surface. Which solid has only three surfaces? Pyramid. Incorrect, it'd be cylinder. What is the name given to a four-sided polygon? Quadrilateral. Correct. Back to speed. The series of articles called Letters from a Farmer in Pennsylvania fostered colonial resistance to the taxes imposed by the Townsend duties in 1767. Who penned these letters? Yes, Riverfield. Thomas Paine. Incorrect. You get a chance, Commerce. John Dickinson. So looking for advantage. Blackbeard was killed when he was stabbed 20 times by what favorite weapon of pirates? Yes, Commerce. Saber. Incorrect. Riverfield? Cutlass. Yes, Cutlass is correct. You have the advantage. Your category this time is history. What famous organization of anti-slavery people helped escape slaves by hiding and feeding them on the way to Canada? Underground Railroad. Correct. What is the name of the first transcontinental railroad completed in 1869? Promontory Point. Incorrect. Union Pacific. What American president once edited the Marion Star in, o in an Ohio town? Polk. 
Incorrect, James Harding. Back to speed questions. Franz Schubert's string quartet in D minor is known in German as Der Tod und das Mädchen. What's it called in English? Yes, Rufield. The dead and the girl. Incorrect, commerce. Death and the Maiden. Math question, get yourself ready. Find the limit as h approaches zero of the quantity x plus h all squared minus x squared, all of that over h. Yes, Riverfield. Infinity. Incorrect, commerce. Yes. Negative infinity. Incorrect. 2x. So looking for another advantage. What's the next line in this verse from a song in A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum? Something familiar, something peculiar, something for everyone. <laughs> a comedy tonight. Jason and Mike are playing five-card draw poker with a standard 52-card deck. On the first deal, Mike picks up two queens, two jacks, and a six. Assuming that Jason has neither a queen nor a jack, then what is the probability that if Mike discards the six, the card he draws as a replacement will be either a queen or a jack, thus giving him a full house? Yes, Rarefield. Uh, four out of 47. Incorrect. Commerce. Two twenty-firsts. Okay, and that is the end of the advantage round. We have the Commerce Tigers standing at zero points still. Riverfield Ravens with 160 points. And now we jump into the third round where the team's ability to think on their feet will be tested. In this whirlwind round, the team with the lowest points gets to pick from one of three categories. They can pick a category for themselves, or they can pick the category for the opposing team. Should they pick the opposing team's category, their opponents will get to choose a category for them. Each team will have 60 seconds to answer as many of the 10 questions in the category as possible, with correct answers being worth 10 points each. You may confer, but all answers must come from the team captain. You may pass on a question at any time by simply saying, pass. Commerce, you're trailing now. Your categories are brown, geometry, or official languages. Do you want to choose for yourselves or for Riverfield? Ourselves. For yourselves, which would you like? Geometry. Geometry it is. Number one, a solid whose base is a polygon and whose faces are triangles meeting at a point is called what? Pyramid. Correct. A solid whose base is a circular area and whose curved lateral surface tapers uniformly to a point is called? Cone. Correct. A solid bounded by a uniformly curved lateral surface with its ends being equal and parallel circular areas is called a what? Sphere. Incorrect. The volume of a cone in which is what fraction of the volume of a cylinder having the same radius and altitude? One third. Correct. A square is 85 feet on each side. What's the perimeter? Pass. Calculate the perimeter of a rectangle 108 yards long and 72 yards wide. up okay riverfield you now get to see how you handle the whirlwind questions so your categories are brown official languages and a third one of rings what would you like brown brown it is answer all these questions with words or phrases that have brown in them Number one, a level of karate expertise. Brown belt. Correct. Joe Lewis. Pass. 
According to Stephen Foster, I dream of Jeannie with... James Brown. <laughs> no, incorrect. <laughs> Accumulated good deeds. Brownie points. Brownie points. Correct. Wealthy man who adopts Oliver Twist. Brown. It's incorrect. Coach of the Cleveland Browns and the Cincinnati Bengals. Pass. Landmark 1954 Supreme Court decision outlawing the separate but equal. Branding versus Board of Education. Correct. Movement exhibited by microscopic particles suspended in the floor. Brownian motion. Correct. The Strahlmatteinlog, or SA, in Nazi Germany. Oh, that would be the brown shirts for that one. All right, good job. Score now stands at Commerce with 30 points and Riverfield with 200 points. We'll go back to speed questions, finish up this match. You ready? You ready? You ready? Well, good. You got one questions? Well, I want answers. Here we go. What do we call the hand-operated deformable wind-making instrument that a blacksmith uses to heat up his fire? Yes, Riverfield. Bellows. Correct. What do ocean tides, crop wastes, winds, volcanic rock, and varying seawater temperatures have in common? Yes, Riverfield. They all cause erosion. No, that is incorrect. Commerce. They are all real or potential sources of energy. Her 40-year residence in China provided material for her many books. In 1938, she became the first American woman writer to receive the Nobel Prize for Literature. Name her. Yes, Ruefield. Uh, Cather. Incorrect. Commerce. Kathleen. Arbin. Incorrect. Pearl Buck. My golden spurs now bring to me, and bring to me my richest mail. For tomorrow I go over land and sea in search of the Holy Grail. Those lines are taken from which poem by James Russell Lowell? Oh, a classic. The Vision of Sir Laughenfall. If apples cost 90 cents a dozen, how much do eight apples cost? Yes, Riverfield. 60 cents. 60 cents it is. The common bond existing in the members of a group, inspiring enthusiasm, devotion, and strong regard for the honor of the group, is signified by what French phrase? Yes, Riverfield. Morale. Incorrect. Commerce. Avoine de oui. Incorrect. Esprit de corps. This alphanumeric clause of the 1978 Tax Reform Act now re enrolls over 40 million Americans. What is it? That would be the 401k plan. The American Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry says that the most popular procedure for people under 50 is what? Yes, Riverfield. Wisdom tooth removal. Incorrect. Commerce. Thought. Teeth whitening. Teeth whitening it is. According to the book of Proverbs, what is the beginning of wisdom? Yes, Riverfield. Fear of the Lord. That is correct. The earliest mariners circumnavigated Africa around 600 BC. Their homeland is occupied today by what nation? Yes, Riverfield. South Africa. Incorrect. Commerce. Saudi Arabia. Incorrect. Lebanon. The presidential election in this South American country was thrown into turmoil when one of the candidates died in a helicopter crash. Name this country that has had accidents many times before during political campaigns. Hence, the capital is Asuncion. 
Yes, we're a field. Paraguay. Paraguay is correct. And that bell concludes the competition. Final score stands at Commerce with 40 points and Riverfield with 240 points. Well played, Ravens and Tigers. The Riverfield Ravens will advance and will be playing the winner of last week's competition, the Chelsea Green Dragons. But before that, we will see the Locust Grove Pirates versus the Collinsville Cardinals. Come back and see who has the answers here on I Want Answers. If you missed last week's competition, you can view it here by visiting our website, rsupublictv.org, and look for I Want Answers. And if you're a big fan, look us up on Facebook by searching for I Want Answers. That's all for tonight. I'm your host, Jeff Gaffin. If you knew some of the answers, thank the teacher. If you know freedom, thank a soldier. Have a good night.